Welcome to Codepedia. In this video, we see 5 most asked ESP.NET Core interview question and answer. Let's take first question. What is middleware in ESP.NET Core? This is one of the mostly asked question in every .NET Core interview. To answer this question, middleware is a component logic code which gets executed on each HTTP request in the ASP.NET Core application. Middleware is injected into the application pipeline to handle requests and responses. Each middleware adds or modifies the HTTP request and optionally passes control to the next middleware component. Middleware are registered under the configure method in the startup.cs file. As you can see here, we have a configure method and we have some built-in middleware. ASP.NET Core has many built-in middleware which can be added via NuGet package or we can also create a custom middleware. So as you can see here, so all these are built-in middleware for example app.authentication, app.authorization. We can register as much middleware as we want but the ordering is important. If you can see here, here app.authentication should be above the app authorization so this order should be maintained next question what is the difference between app.use and app.run first of all both methods are used to register middleware to the application request pipeline the only difference is middleware defined using app.use may call next middleware component in the pipeline and on the other hand middleware defined using app.run will never call a subsequent middleware. In short, app.run act as a terminal middleware so no other middleware method will run after this. Here you can check the configure method where we have added built-in middleware for example app.use routing and app.use authorization. And we have added two custom middleware. The first one is using app.use and the next is using app.run. The app.use will call the next subsequent middleware whereas app.run will end here. What is dependency injection in ESP.NET Core? This is one of the mostly asked question. Again, to answer this question, dependency injection is one of the most common strategies that helps us to create more maintainable code and .NET Core has inbuilt support for dependency injection. Dependency injection is also known as DI. It's a technique that helps to inject a dependent object of a class or we can say it helps us to create loosely coupled application. In startup.cs file under the configure services method we register the services and to register the services we have three options that are add singleton, add scope and add transient. As you can see the code we have added three services one is singleton and the second is scope and the third is transient. Once the service is registered it is available in DI container and we can access it through constructor injection. Next, what is routing in ASP.NET Core? Routing basically is a pattern matching system that monitors the incoming request and figures out what to do with that request. It's a process through which the application matches the incoming URL and executes the corresponding controller action method. And in ASP.NET Core, we support two types of routing that is conventional routing and attribute routing. Next, how to enable session in ASP.NET Core? Session basically is used to store or save the user data and to enable session in ASP.NET Core we need to add add session method in the configure services method of a startup class and next we need to add app.usersession middleware in the configure method here you can see in the configure services we have added services.add session and in configure method we have added app.use session. Now to set session value we use session.setString or session.in32 and to get that session value we use session.getString or session.getIn32. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out my future videos.